Okay. So I used this when I was working in Nagoya. In Nagoya. Nagoya. Yeah. Institute of Plasma Physics. Mm -hmm. That was sometime in 1980s, late 1980s. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, they throw this away. So I said, uh, maybe you can uh, throw it to to the Philippines. <laughs> yes. And ah, yeah. I, uh, it's still working. Ah, yes, yeah, the power uh, supplies uh, uh, become smaller and smaller. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. But this is uh, still robust. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah, this, this machine, uh, I developed it uh, as an auxiliary source for fusion because it uh, synthesizes uh, negative hydrogen ions. Yeah. Yes. There are some uh, the magnets as well. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Hammond's to find the plasma. Mm -hmm. And uh, I create the plasma. plasma configuration by yeah. utilizing some of the coupled magnets. Mm -hmm. Uh, this, this are placed on a north-south, south-north configuration here. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it creates a sheet plasma. Yeah. It uh, gives us a wider area for extraction of negative hydrogen ions mm -hmm. by uh, volume production. Mm -hmm. But now, I think in the, from the standpoint of a third world country, uh, working in fusion is quite expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I said uh, maybe we, we can utilize the machine for some other purpose, for some mm -hmm. other application. Okay. And uh, we have been able to uh, synthesize and uh, create. Uh, uh, and, and it's working well as well? Yes. Okay, yes. nice. Create uh, hard coating films like titanium nitride. Yeah. Yes. So oh. utilize the same machine for mm -hmm. uh, coating uh, hard films like titanium nitride. Uh, uh, circular nitride. The thickness? Thickness you can control. Yes. Uh, um, what thing that you usually grow? Uh, eight microns for okay. uh, cutting tools. Okay, and, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, quite thick film. Quite thick, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's why I have water cooling. Uh, uh, those uh, students has grow uh, different different materials. Different or? materials. Uh, yes. Which material? Uh, titanium carbon nitride. Uh, titanium carbon nitride, for example. Yeah. Uh, silicon, uh, titanium silicon carbide. Titanium silicon carbide. Yes, okay. Uh, titanium aluminum carbide. So nice. It's, it's different, different materials. Okay. Uh, based in Darmstadt, Germany. Mm -hmm. yes. Ah, yeah. This is from your collaborator in Germany. Yes. Okay. So this I is guess. atmospheric plasmas to treat uh, different kinds of uh, materials. Mm -hmm. But normally we uh, are able to treat uh, specific metals for making them more hydrophilic. Mm -hmm. So the adhesion problem in terms of resin uh, contacts mm -hmm. makes it uh, more conducive to adhesion. But mm -hmm. you have to make first the metal uh, mm -hmm. hydrophilic. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, enhancing tensile strength, for example. Mm -hmm. So we treat uh, various kinds of fibers obtained from tropical uh, plants, yeah. like uh, pineapple, uh, mm -hmm. Fibers, for example, uh, which are very co uh, common, common from Philippines. Common. They just throw it away. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, water hyacinth, which yeah. grows uh, in abundance in the Philippines, mm -hmm. Philippine rivers. And also coconut wire, mm -hmm. the husk of the coconut, uh, you can make it into strands yeah. of fibers. So you work in close collaboration also with the biologists. Yes. 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 Uh, we use it also for sterilization. So yeah. we get bacteria that is grown in the microbiology laboratory. Nice. And then we uh, treat it here to determine the decimal attraction value. How awesome. long will it take to uh, sterilize? I developed this also while working as an uh, exchange scientist in Japan. Uh, with Nagoya? With Nagoya. No. So this is a spatter type ion source which creates metal ions. Okay. And normally we extract uh, ions, uh, accelerate them, focus them, mm -hmm. the beam, and uh, we study the trans transport characteristics by employing electrostatic energy analyzer. Mm -hmm. So we also make these kinds of things and put them uh, inside mm -hmm. just to characterize the beam uh, that is created in terms of metal ions. Mm -hmm. Now we are dealing with various kinds of metal ions extraction uh, characteristics, uh, silver, gold, niobium. Uh, Titanium, zirconium, mm -hmm. uh, any kind of metal that you find or you can uh, yeah. source from uh, Advent Corporation. <laughs> yeah. yes. Now, specifically, we're, one student is interested to work with silver mm -hmm. and uh, gets deposited on silicon because uh, you can control the grain size of the deposited uh, 
uh, the negative ion that is uh, produced out of silver mm -hmm. uh, has a very good neutralization efficiency. Mm -hmm. So as it as it uh, impinges upon the material, it coalesces, creating uh, silver nanostructures. Mm -hmm. And uh, the silver nanostructures are utilized uh, as dopant materials for photovoltaic cells. Yeah. They enhance the efficiency okay. as a consequence of the uh, absorption yeah. process yeah. that occurs mm -hmm. because of the, the degree size. Mm -hmm. So uh, are, are you doing some try, trying to do some um, solar cell devices as well? Yes, there's a group here that works on ah, solar okay. devices. I, but you, you provide maybe the, yeah, the, the, the basis. Okay, okay, nice. Yeah, because uh, we, we want to look at the characteristics of uh, plasmonic effects Mm -hmm. as a consequence of the doping of silver uh, nanoparticles okay. in the uh, solar cell. Nice. But as it is, uh, we're uh, the system to mm -hmm. enhance the energy of the beam extracted mm -hmm. process. Because you can use it for biological applications like uh, suppose you allow some significant DNA to ride into with, uh, with the ion. Mm -hmm. Then you inject the, uh, the ion into uh, Living material like uh, yeah. some seed, and probably you can change the characteristics. Yeah. So Chiang Mai University does that. That's yeah. why Thailand is famous for yeah, its rice. Yeah, it's quite complex for me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah they, uh, it's, it's quite a long uh, injection mechanism for the word to accelerate the, uh, the ion. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I think Thailand is developing uh, several varieties of rice through that process. Mm -hmm. So they extract a DNA which is uh, uh, which, which has some. Uh, the negative hydrogen ion production is to uh, to lower the te temperature of the electrons that are produced in the process. Mm -hmm. And one way to do that is to inject uh, gases. Yeah, yeah. So it, it produces more hydrogen, uh, therefore the, the pollution is uh, enhanced and the mean free path is reduced in the process mm -hmm. because of the introduction of uh, neutral gases. So it lowers the, the electric temperature. Okay. Then, uh, by the two-step process of production of uh, negative hydrogen ions, we're able to enhance the uh, the uh, uh, production of negative hydrogen ions in the process. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's a good system because uh, you can produce an arc plasma or a blow discharge plasma for uh, uh, applications like uh, synthesis of diamond-like carbon films mm -hmm. or diamond films in the process. Yeah, in, in, in the case of carbon films, uh, how do you try to do with these plasma um, <coughs> equipment here, <coughs> some graphene or nanotubes? Yes, one, one of my students will be working on graphene. In graphene with this equipment? With this equipment yeah. And it's working well with us? Uh, he, he, he has started. He's ah, a, nice, he's nice. a PhD student. Yeah. Ah, nice, he has nice. started, yeah. Okay, and, nice. And uh, we tried as much as possible to deposit uh, diamond and diamond like carbon without temperature or heating, mm -hmm. without heating. Yeah. And uh, we've been able to produce uh, such, just using the plasma temperature of about okay. 300 degrees centigrade. Okay. Yeah. Because extra heating means uh, an ex extra cost to the process. Yeah. Okay. So, in the case of graphene, uh, one of my graduate students is... Uh, is working now. Is working now. Okay, excellent, excellent. And what, in the case of graphene, what substrate he uses? Uh, maybe silicon or some other substrate? Yeah, silicon is good silicon for graphene. Yeah, it's good. It's with, good. Yeah. Yeah, we've, been, yeah. we've been depositing it on uh, diamond like carbon and silicon as well. Yeah. And we tried it with metals just to determine the thicker surface. Yeah. 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 yeah, you know, it, it's, the surface must be not too rough. Yeah. Yes, of course. It does. Yes. Yes, good. Nice. Michelle's baby. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Michelle, you work here? Yes, uh, I made this machine last January. So okay. You see, the design actually was uh, uh, inspired from my professor in Japan. So basically, we have. Uh, uh, in the University of Nagoya? No, no. no the Shisha University. Shisha University, yes. okay. And uh, but what we have here is a titanium target. Okay. And then um, underneath the titanium target is an annular magnet and a cylindrical magnet. Okay. So when we um, ignite the plasma, what we have is a ring-like formation of plasma. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the sputtering of titanium happens. And mm -hmm. then we introduce oxygen gas. The, sputter, the sputtering gas is argon. And then 
we introduce oxygen to deposit uh, titanium dioxide and silicon. So we have tried depositing it on other substrates and we still have to characterize it. Uh, um, um, why titanium dioxide in silicon? Why are you studying that? Uh, any application? Actually, uh, we're yeah. trying to to see if it, uh, it has deposited for photocatalytic applications. Yeah. So uh, to try if it uh, if we have deposit, we we try it on silicon to check if it will conduct mm -hmm. with light. Mm -hmm. So that's the basic uh, basic experiment. Later on, if we have proven that there's actually silicon uh, mm -hmm. deposit on silicon, we also try it depositing on glass. Okay. Yes, and uh, we, after depositing glass. Um, we put silver or the other way around using okay. the sputtered type ion source. Very nice. Nice. Eventually, we want to deposit on uh, acrylic. Yeah, just like this kind of thing. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And we want to see the uh, addition uh, problems of TiO2. Mm -hmm. Now, because what, what we want to do later on is to uh, just pass on water, mm -hmm. expose it under UV uh, light, solar energy, mm -hmm. and the photocompatibility would uh, enable us to determine the characteristics of uh, organic uh, treatment mm -hmm. of uh, waste. It's called the plastic shirt ion The ion is quite small. It's the smallest device that we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we use it for etching and cleaning of uh, samples. Samples by using CF4 plus. Okay. Yeah. So the discharge creates CF4. Then you have the various ion uh, components of uh, the CF4 plasma, which is utilized for etching applications. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have put in silicon as a substrate material. So it etches this, depending on the kind of conditions, you etch it to create uh, nanopillars. We call it block silicon. Yeah. And, uh, uh, so you don't need uh, any pattern for the nanopillars? No, the, uh, serendipitously, the, uh, the mask that has been created is ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. sputtered uh, chromium. Okay. That uh, yeah. gets sputtered by the, by the plasma as okay. it uh, exceeds the aperture. Yeah. The aperture is quite small, about 3 millimeters. So in the process, the chromium that, uh, and iron mm -hmm. gets spotted out from the stainless steel mm -hmm. acts as a random uh, masking ah, yeah. case. Nice. So eventually, the, the random formation creates some of the pillars out of it. Mm -hmm. And the subsequently, the... This is... Yeah. Okay. This is uh, synthesis. This is... Multilayer uh, titanium. Student. This is... Uh, this is for... Uh, undergraduate students. Undergrad. Yeah. And undergrad. The green color is undergrad. Ah, green color is undergrad, yes. and the red ones is the uh, master. Master's or PhD. Ah, the master or PhD. Maybe the PhD yeah. is the, the thick one, maybe. Yes, I'm, I'm looking at there's a PhD. It does, here. Uh, crystal is in. So this is an example of uh, kind of collaboration work done in Japan, part, partly done in Japan. Mm -hmm. For a master's thesis, then mm -hmm. partly done here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in all of these theses, you are the the professor. Yes. The advisor. Yes. Nice. Uh, the advisor. Okay. So uh, the students here, the candidates here needs two research advisors, as I can see. Here yes. is two research advisors. One or two. Ah, one or two. Yeah. Okay. So, so the Professor Wada is uh, my collaboration, collaborator in Japan. In Japan. Ah, that's why. Right. Because it, it is, yes, you told me yeah. that this, this particular partly. case is partly, yes. It's a collaboration. Ah, you have many tests here as well. Yeah, because we're wow. trying to uh, compile them in a database. Yes. Yes. So that means that you are very productive, Professor Wada. Uh, we have produced about six PhDs so far, at least the ones advised in the laboratory. Mm -hmm.